Hi, this is Deborah from Dinglefoot Scrapbooking, and this week I have an easy scrapbook layout to show you. And the papers I'm actually using here are Graphic 45, but all you need are just a few coordinating cardstocks along with some cream background or whatever background you want to use. The papers I'm using are from the Le Romantique collection from Graphic 45. I have Celebration, and that's for this little tiny strip here that I cut the little V in each end. And that's going to be a kind of ribbon for my paper. And then I have My Beloved, and that's this pearl one. And then I have one called Enamored Embrace, and that's the dark brown one. Otherwise, I have a tag that I made. And this is actually just a rub-on that I put on a piece of cream paper. And I kind of sprayed it down with the gold glimmer mist just to age it a little bit because it was so white. And then I put that on another brown piece of cardstock. And I have a photo mat. This is four and a half by six and a half inches, so we could have a four by six paper, uh, photo on there. And otherwise, I have a piece of ribbon that I'm going to be aging a little bit with Tim Holtz Distress Ink, and I'm using old paper. And for the other measurements, our back piece of cream paper is 12 by 12. And then the brown one's just a little bit smaller. That's 11 and a half by 11 and a half. And then we have another cream one. This one is 10 by 10. And then I cut this other paper just a little bit smaller. This was 9 and 3 quarters by 9 and 3 quarters. So I have those things and I have a title for my page. And I'm going to go ahead and glue these papers together just like you see here with that nice the nice borders around it and I'm gonna get those glued and I'll be right back my papers for the base of my scrapbook page are all glued on and now I'm going to take this piece of lace and since my paper and everything else is kind of cream this is just way too white and it's going to look a little bit funny on my page like that. So I'm going to take the old paper ink and I'm just going to use a makeup sponge and I'm just going to very lightly brush the old paper ink over it and that will give it a nice creamish brownish color so that it blends in more with my background. And this is actually meant to go right across the bottom of my paper, but I'm not going to put it on quite yet. I'm going to take my photo mat, and that's going to go right here on the right. So I'm just going to basically lay the things down the way I want them, and then I will glue them after that. This little tag I made, you could use this for journaling on the back side, or you could just place it permanently on the page. So I'm actually just going to tuck that to the side. And then my title is going to go across here. And these ones are letters I cut from the Cricut Storybook cartridge. They are one and a half inches tall. And I just cut them out of more cream card stock. That's going to go there. And then this piece of paper I cut, it's about four inches long. And then I folded it in half. And I just cut little V's in the end. So that's going to be a, a little ribbon ornament for right under the name. And what I'm going to do with that is take it, and I'm only going to glue certain points of it down on my paper. So I'm going to have a little bit of dimension because I'm going to 
glue at the edges and then I'm going to raise it up just a little bit in a couple places and that's just going to go right there under the title of my page and I think I'm going to put a few little adhesive pearls in between on the parts that are glued down. So now that you can see the way that I arranged my page, I'm going to go ahead and take a break and get these things glued in place and then I'll show you the finished page. My page is finished, everything's glued in place, and I wanted to show you a couple things I did. I decided to keep this card loose so that I can take it out and use it as a journal mat. So what I did with my ribbon was I only used adhesive up to here, from the edge to here, and then from the photo mat across. So I have this little space here, I can tuck my page and I have a paper clip that I can attach it to the photo mat and so with the photo mat I also only glued part of it. I glued these three sides so I actually have this nice little pocket here and then with my ribbon being raised up I have another spot where I can tuck my little journal mat underneath. So those are the things I did for this scrapbook page. I hope you get to try something similar. Thanks so much for watching.